What's up guys, today we're checking out the top 10 world's best knives of 2023. Now we're gonna check out the top five world's best budget knives and the top five world's best premium knives. They have to be production and they have to have dropped in 2023. Let's get it. Now starting the list off at number five, the Ganzo FH924. Now I chose this knife for the ultra budget range and it's Ganzo's newest release. I think Ganzo does some of the best knives between 20 and $30, which this knife is. With D2 steel, G10 scales, deep carry wire clip that is reversible, ceramic caged bearings with incredible action, it's a small compact knife that's just over six inches in total length with a two and three quarter inch blade. Ganzo knives have always hit above their weight class and this knife is no exception. Number four is the Migoron Moyarl, another knife that's extremely well priced, a great value. Just under $50, it's using 14C 28N steel, which is a great mid-grade steel, G10 steel liners, and a milled titanium pocket clip. All that for under 50 bucks. It's a great size at 7.5 inches, 3.5 inch blade. It has a very useful design that anyone can appreciate. And to top it all off, it has incredible action running on its ceramic cage to bearings. It's super snappy and super smooth. Number three is the CJRB Echo. Now this is a knife that hits way above its weight class. It has button lock action with multiple deployments. It's running on ceramic caged bearings, so it's extremely smooth. The front flipper works great. It has a hole deployment that's easy to flick and thumb flip. It's using ARRPM9 steel, which is a great stainless steel, decent edge retention. It's very easy to sharpen, and it also is easy to maintain in between sharpenings. It has a steel body that feels like titanium because from the blade to the handle, it's using this incredible stone washed finish that's just very smooth to the touch. Now, because of that, the clip is very smooth in and out of the pocket as well. It has a very useful blade shape that's 3.25 inches with an overall length of just under 7.5 inches total. This is a knife that you can easily feel its quality and usefulness. Number two is the Kaiser Escort. Now I'm specifically talking about the Rich Light version. Now it is a few dollars more than our budget cost, which is $100. It's about $109, but I do think it is well worth its extra $9. Now, it has a premium option, which is the one we see in the video that is in 20 CV and aluminum that runs about $170. But the one we're talking about specifically is the $109 option, which is in red rich light and 154 cm steel it has a 7.8 inch overall length 3.3 inch blade it has crazy good action because it's using the kaiser's clutch lock which i think is the best crossbar lock of all cross crossbar locks i don't think it's beatable i think at least at the moment it is the, the king of crossbar locks, hands down. You can adjust it to your preferred tension and action. It has ceramic caged bearings, so it's stupid smooth. It has a great detent. Like, everything you don't get from other crossbar locks, you get from this crossbar lock. It has amazing action. It's an incredible, useful design, great size, great everything. Like I said, this is a knife that hits way, way above its price range. And it did come out technically a little bit before 2023, but it was right there on the line. So the only place it can really fall is in 2023 because it was the end of 2022. Next is the number one 2023 best budget knife of the year, at least as far as right now goes. And that is the Civivi Sakura. Koki. Now the Civivi Sukoki is possibly the best bang for your buck using my favorite mid-grade steel 14C28N 
gorgeous micarta, multiple forms of deployment with incredible action, deep carry, reversible clip, and not only is this one of the most useful designs, it's using the same micarta you will find on their more premium Wii line, which is their premium knife company. It has great a great size of 7.6 inches overall, 3.3 inch blade. Now, in my opinion, this is possibly the best knife you can get for around 65 bucks. Now, going into the best premium knives of 2023 so far that's under $400 and our production knives that had to have come out in 2023, we have number five, the Wii Knife Co. Ziphius. Possibly the best button lock knife you can get. It has some of the best button lock action I've ever tried. It comes in multiple different options, as does all the knives on this list. It has a harpoon worn cliff 20 CV blade that's extremely useful for EDC purposes. The handle is made of titanium with a back spacer that simulates a basically an integral which comes in different materials. The one we have is a titanium one with lightning anno finish, but it also comes in a carbon fiber option. The clip is super smooth in and out of the pocket. This knife not only has incredible action, it also has an incredible useful design. For around $350, it has a more premium feel than many other similar priced Wii knives. Now, the blade is 3.7 inches long and the overall length is 8.7 inches, so it is a good size EDC knife for those that like a large EDC knife. Going into number four, the Sharp by Designs Mini Evo. Now, I could talk about this knife for hours. It has a 7.5 inch overall length, 3.5 inch M390 super steel blade. This Riyat made knife feels exactly how a premium knife should. Its tolerances, fit and finish work is about as good as it gets. It comes in many options from drop points to the harpoon tanto like you see in the video. Different inlays, they recently dropped a fat carbon fiber option. Now this knife uses the Brian Nado detent nub, which does not have a strong detent, but it's a very clean breaking detent, which makes for an extremely satisfying deployment that's snappy and super consistent. Fall shut action when closing, it's riding on ceramic caged bearings, and when slowly opening the blade, you can actually feel that detent nub pull the blade into action. You can feel it. Basically yank the blade into lockup, making a very super secure, solid lock bar engagement. It goes from $375, like the version you see here in this video, all the way up to $425 for the fat carbon fiber options. Number three is the Jared Osier F22 Kickstop. Now, possibly even better than the Sharp by Designs action, which I know is difficult to, to even think of. Now, I'm gonna say something that I think is crazy, but could possibly make the best action ever, and that is somebody should mix the Brian Nadeau Detent Nub with a Kickstop. If they did that, I can't imagine action being any better than that. And if somebody already has done it, please somebody tell me down in the comments. I would love to know what knife that is if they've already done this and I just don't know. Anyways, the reason the kickstop is so good is because the flipper tab is separated from the blade, allowing you to put the flipper in a spot that creates incredible leverage. However, after you deploy it, when it's open, it won't hurt the ergos or the hand position since it stays in place. If it was connected, like most knives, the more leverage the flipper has means the higher it would have to be in the closed position. But when it's open, it would be lower 
in the open position, pushing your hand down the handle. Kickstop changes that and offers some of the snappiest action of all time. It uses M390 steel on its 3.3 inch drop point blade, a total length of 7.8 inches. The F22 comes in many different options, colors, and material options, but they all have a titanium liner lock that's almost as thick as some frame locks. Coupled with its insane action on the ceramic caged bearings to give you a very smooth dropping action, the F22 kickstop is absolutely amazing. Some of the snappiest action I've ever felt on a pocket knife. Number two is the USA made Microtech MSI. Now, look out for the full review coming soon. We are going to be doing that. The MSI uses Microtech's new version of M390 called M390 MK Steel, a 3.75 inch blade with an overall length of 8.75 inches. What's special about this knife is it's using their new RAM lock, which is a drop in system that should be theoretically very, very strong. But I guess we'll find out about that in the full review along with how well this new steel is. While the action is not as satisfying as I would have hoped, because it has a lighter detent than most people would probably prefer, it does have multi-row ceramic caged bearings that are very smooth on the closing action. The large knife that's made in the USA costs about $325, or at least that's what it costed me. Number one. The Quiet Carry 9. The Quiet Carry 9 comes in many different options for around $330. It has a 20 CV super steel blade, titanium frame lock with some of the best ergos. The fit and finish work makes it very smooth and comfortable in the hand. The clip is possibly the best clip I've ever felt in and out of the pocket. Not only is it a deep carry clip that's also a milled titanium deep carry clip, it's also very attractive. And it's very nice on the pockets or the seam of your pocket. It never even threatens to tear up your pockets going in and out. It's incredibly smooth, has incredibly snappy action. I can't even imagine thinking that anyone would think that the detent was either too light or too strong on its thumb stud deployment. With a blade length of 3.2 inches, an overall length of 7.5 inches, it's a great size for EDC for most people. The Quiet Carry 9 has a well deserved first place spot of 2023, at least so far. Until next time, peace.